Let's get into this week's show. Tina asks, what advice would you give someone wanting to transition from paid employment to business? Tina, this takes me back, this question, takes me back to about 2005 was, that, was the last time that I had both a business and a job together. And I think it's a very cool stage. Like, I think too many business people, um, there's a point when you've got to get all in, but there's also a point where you should get a job. Um, and, 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 and my reason is, is that you want marketing money and you don't want the pressure of, of like, you know, facing eviction every single week because you can't make rent. I'm not a fan. I think, I think just go get a job and, and take some of the pressure off. But of course, there's going to be a point when you do have to take the jump. And, uh, and so that's, that's ultimately your question. Um, so then I'm going to kind of say, well, if you've got a job, firstly, can you scale it back in time? You know, like drop to four days a week and do one day on your business or three days a week and, you know, two days and scale your job back that way. That's, that's obviously a nice way to go. Um, and if you can do that, then, then that's brilliant. Uh, of course, what you do have, if you can't, if you can't, like you've got to go five days or no days because you, you can't scale back in days, you've obviously got nights and weekends. And, and not enough people treat that time seriously. You know, like you can do a lot of work from 9 p.m. to 12 at night, you know, on however many nights you could put up with doing that and Saturdays and Sunday. You can do a lot of work on your business in those times. You know, like if you've got a family, then it means, you know, doing dinner, reading stories, kids to bed, into the office, do some work. OK, so you can build a lot of momentum up without needing to leave your job. Ideally, you can scale back day by day, but if not, then at some point you're going to have to go all in. You know, it's people say to me, oh, it's when your business is producing as much as when your, your job. It's, it's, it's madness. It's never going to happen. You're going to have to jump early. You're always going to have to jump early. You know, for me, it would be as soon as, as soon as I can get a true customer to start paying me money, like not as a theory, but as it's actually happening, not my, not my friends, not my family, not my people at church, actual people with money, as soon as I could get my ideal customer to part with some money, that's when I'd go all in and I'd back myself. So that might mean that we have to do some savings, you know, save up in a bank account to build a little buffer to be able to jump and so forth. But, um, but ultimately, you've got to jump early. And let me give you the motivation. Um, I don't know if you know this story. Um, somebody told this to me when I was younger and I thought it was really cool. You know, you, 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 there was this fleet of ships going to war a whole fleet of ships going to war and uh, and as they were approaching the beach you know they revved up the army they said we're gonna we're gonna jump on shore we're gonna run up the sand and we're gonna take out the enemy and uh, everyone's like yes and so what happened they get to shore they drop down the front of the boats air the whole army runs out they run through the water they run up the beach they start to go into battle and the commander uh, stays behind and he grabs a few of his men and he says we've got to torch the boats torch the boats and literally they just set them all on fire and you can imagine if you're one in the army you're running up the beach you look back everything is up in fire there's no way to go back there's no turning back they torch the boats so there's no turning back and so that's forced them to be better to win the war and everything was okay it's a little bit like that when leaving our job you know like quit the job and then you're all in and you've got to make it work and that level of pressure can be kind of handy sometimes as, song, as long as there's a lifeline to keep going back to, then it can be like a junkie going back to drugs, all right? And, and we, we need to make that clear demarcation if we can between job and business. And then when you're in it, you've got to do everything you can. You'll work day, you'll work night, you'll work your face off to make the business work.